I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. Today we'll be doing a head shave as well as a hot towel treatment. If you're new to this channel, hopefully you get something useful out of this video. And if you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you'll know whenever we release new content. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Thanks for tuning in everyone. This is going to be a very straightforward video. So the only thing I'm going to do is just take the trimmers and just shave his head bald. There won't really be a lot of commentary in this video just because it's so straightforward. So the only thing you just do, just sit back and just watch me shave his head and then we'll move on to the next step. Now, I know a lot of you guys watching this video cut hair as well, and I want to see your work. So if you would, follow the Barber Style directory on Instagram and DM us your best haircut photos. And you could be featured on the Barber Style directory Instagram page. Also, if you want to see more of my haircuts, you can follow me on Instagram at Thomas Cut It. That's T H O M A S C U T I T. But back to the video. Originally, I wanted to do a bald head shave with a razor, but his skin is so sensitive that it can't take a razor. Nor can I use the electric shaver on him. So the trimmer is the only thing that will keep his hair that will keep his head from being irritated. So right here, I'm just going back and cleaning up any, any heavy spots or dark spots that I see. I just want to get the head as smooth as possible. And even on his face, like I wanted to use the razor on his goatee, but even his face can't take a razor. He will bump up immediately. But you just, with different clients, you will have that. So you just have to learn to know your client's skin. Everyone won't be able to take a razor or you can't use your sharpest clippers on some clients. doing a hot towel treatment, you want to make sure that the towel is not too hot for the client's head because you don't want to burn them or cause any discomfort. So before you put the towel on their head, always test the temperature on the insides of your wrist. This is the most sensitive area on your arm, so if it's too hot for the inside of your arm, nine times out of 10, it's too hot for their head. And then before you completely just put the towel around their head, lightly just tap it on their head and ask them, hey, is this too hot? And if it's not, then proceed to wrap the towel. So right here, I'm just opening up his pores with the hot towel. Okay, now I'm gonna take some exfoliation sponges and then this is just an exfoliating soap and his pores are already open. So what the soap is going to do is just cleanse those pores to get any dirt or gunk out of his pores. You just want to go in a circular motion. And it's almost like, I'm not trying to be funny when I say this, but it's almost like buffing a window. You just want to use those uniform circular motions. And I'm telling you guys, you will be surprised. You may think your scalp is clean, but you will be surprised how dirty a sponge will be once you do this. And doing things like this, it sets you apart. You can't get this in every barbershop or not every barber will offer this. So just do little small things like this to set yourself apart. Now, of course, if you're doing more, you will want to charge more. So just keep that in mind. But here I just put the hot towel on once again. I'm going to wipe off all of that residue. And 
And then right here, this is just an astringent to help tighten and close back up those pores. So I open them with the hot towel and then this astringent is cool and it has pore closing properties. So it just helps close back up the pores. And then this right here is just rose water. It acts as a toner. So basically I'm just balancing the pH in this scalp. And there you have it guys.